good day collectors and viewers social distance warrior is back and today we're going to look at princess leia and another one of her return of the jedi outfits this time in her endor gear so princess leia of course made her debut back in a new hope the original star wars movie and then again in empire strikes back and then we waited three long years and she was back in return of the jedi so in the second half of return of the jedi which feels like a complete different movie how awesome it was uh, they find themselves on the planet of Endor. So while they're on Endor, they want to be camouflaged so they're not noticeable by any Imperials or anybody else. So they have their rebel disguises in the camouflage gear. So Princess Leia made her debut in her action figure form in 1984 on the Return of the Jedi 77 back. I actually have that figure on card. I'll bring forward over here. It's always nice when you can have something original and you can share it with the fan base and have a look at it together. So there you can see on her original card, uh, Return of the Jedi, Princess Leia in combat poncho. We bring the camera up closer here. You can see that she's got the helmet separated there from the rest of her. And inside you can see soft goods, Princess Leia, uh, with the belt around the front of the poncho and a really nice color to the poncho as well. Really colorful, it used to stand out big time as a kid where I wanted to have Luke and Leia. And a biker scout over here, if I turn it to the side, you can see she's got her blaster in packaging there too, as well as her black boots. If you lift it up there, we can see underneath she's got her foot pegs as well to stand her in any other playset that you wanted to. So that's what we get from the original release of Princess Leia. I'll do a nice little close-up just so you can see it again. And then a close-up of the helmet as well. So my bubble's a little bit, you know, rough for wear. It hasn't really stayed clear over the term, but I'm going to keep it in package because it's a nice little historical moment for myself to have an original Star Wars figure. So if I turn that over to the back, you can see the card back, Star Wars action figures. Uh, it's a 77 back, so collect all 77 figures. You can see all the figures that were released at the time. And again, there was no internet at the time, so having something like this as a kid, you could stare at it, with, stare at it for hours and go through each and every figure that you had and check mark them, which is what I used to do. And of course, the ones that you didn't have, you'd circle or let your parents know, here's what I'd like to get for Christmas or my birthday or whatnot, any other special occasion. Uh, and there's some other stuff there on the back as well. You can see size noodles and the Revo Band, Ewok with gl Combat Glider, Ewok Assault cap, uh, Catapult and the Rancor as well. So that's the original release of Princess Leia in Endor gear that we get. And we wouldn't get another one for many, many years to follow. So Star Wars, of course, like we've talked about in many other videos, has gone dormant for a long time from the 80s all the way to 97. So Power of the Force 2 comes back in 95, and we wouldn't get our first Endor Leia until 97. Uh, not on a single car to release, but with an accessory, with a vehicle, speeder bike. So we get... Uh, Princess Leia and Endor gear on speeder bike, and that's the figure over here. And you can see that she's a modern update to the previous one. She doesn't have the cloth goods. She comes with a, you know, soft rubber overlay over her outfit, but nonetheless, it's a nice upgrade to the figure that we had. Uh, you can see that her hands are positioned wider so that she can hold the handles on the speeder bike with care and not have to worry about breaking her, you know, thumbs off. And on this hand over here, you can see she's got the little watch on as well. Uh, the helmet is not removable. It's sculpted right on there. The head's articulated. If we look to try and move her, you can turn her at the waist with a lot of the figures from the Power of the Force 2 could do at the time. Uh, the This part is removable, so you could take the poncho off if needed be. And then you have Leia in the general outfit underneath. So you have basically two figures, but without the removable helmet, you're kind of stuck with the one scene for this Princess Leia. Uh, if we move our way down here, you can bend her knee, bend her legs there. You can bend her at the knee as well. So she has the articulation at the knee, which was a first for these figures because, of course, they had to ride the speeder bike and they'd look pretty silly if they couldn't bend their knees. And a nice, you know, paint job on the boots here on the bottom. If we lift that up down underneath, you can see there's no foot pegs because she wasn't intended to stand. She just intended to ride the speeder bike. Now, unlike a lot of the figures at the time that suffered from um, exaggerated poses or exaggerated, you know, sculpting where they're really big, bulky and, and muscular. She's not. 
She's actually a really nice figure. She stands nicely on a display for me still, sitting on her speeder bike. And the camel's done nicely on her outfit as well. So that's what she looks like from the front. Return her from the side. You can see she has the yellow line painted down her pant leg, which was a common thing with a lot of the figures at the time. And you can see the nice paint job on the helmet, the weathering as well. And then of course from the back, the camel on the outfit, the nice wrinkles on the poncho to give it a nice depth look, realism look. And that's what Princess Leia and the indoor outfit would look like. Let's see if I can stand her up back over here so that she doesn't fall over. We'll do our best, okay? So we'd have to wait one year to get another Princess Leia and Endor outfit. And again, it wouldn't be on a single card release, but it will be with the Millennium Minted coin. So if anybody remembers the Power of the Force line back in the 80s, back in 85, 84, 85, a lot of the figures came with coins. And then to commemorate that in the Power of the Force 2 line, they experimented with releasing figures and the coins with the stand. Now, the problem with this is you did get some nice new versions of action figures, but at a higher price point, it made it unappealing to buy the figures because you're paying more for a stand and a coin, and technically it could have just been a general release. But nonetheless, we got a new Princess Leia figure. That's this one over here. And she comes with that Millennium Minted coin, so you can see the gold coin inside there. Now, she comes off the stand. You can see there's two foot pegs on the stand. We'll look at that in a second. So there's the figure, and she comes with a blaster, a unique blaster as well. Let's bring that up close just to show you. So that's the blaster that she came with in package. And uh, no painting on the blaster, it's just a straight color, but nonetheless more realistic than the stuff that we used to get or the bulky stuff when the Power of the Force 2 stuff first came out. As far as the figure itself, um, it's an update to the one that came with the speeder bike. So it's got the same head with a new paint job on it. Uh, it's got the same poncho, but again, the poncho with some more green coloring, a little more of a modern uptake on the outfit. And again, the skin color is a little more flesh color as opposed to a tan or a pale color. Uh, pant legs with a yellow line sitting on the side and the boots as well. And it uh, doesn't have the articulation at the knees like the speeder bike version had. And again, this one's got the foot pegs. So this would be the regular release figure, except that it came with the Millennium Minted coin. So if we turn her from the side, that's what she looks like. And then if we turn her around over to the back, then you can see more paint detailing again on the poncho than that previous one did. So just like the Endor Luke, I always preferred this one with the Millennium Minted coin better and considered it a different figure than that one that we initially got there. Let's put them side by side just to show you. So you can see that, you know, same thing with her hands. They're not as open to hold the speeder bike like the other ones are, right? And then you can see the face sculpt and the poncho and then no articulation of the knees. So a, definitely a different version of Princess Leia and Endor gear that we can show you. Let's try and stand this one back up so it doesn't fall over. Uh, let's look at the stand real quick as well. So stand, just like the Luke Endor one, I'll show you a quick little overview there. If you wanted to pack this thing away and not display it or just use the stand, this does come off. So you can pull off that part and just have the stand on its own. And if you wanted to look at the coin in detail, you can as well. You can pop this thing off in the back. If you stick your nail in the back there and pull forward, you can see that that coin does pop out as well. And you can take it right out of the packaging there. So just like the Luke Skywalker, you can take that coin out. And that's not something that I knew about until 20 plus years later, just before doing this review. Uh, so that's Princess Leia in her Millennium Minted coin release. So we'd have to wait a couple more years till we get a similar figure release, this time in the Power of the Jedi line. So after the Episode 1 uh, craze with the figures, they went to a more uniformed release for the figures where they brought all the figures together from the original trilogy and from the prequels onto a Power of the Jedi line. And in 2000, Princess Leia got another release. Not technically the Endor Leia, but a similar figure. So I wanted to talk about her in this review. And that's General Leia. So she was a general, of course, in Return of the Jedi before they did the uh, attack on Endor when they were planning on what they're going to do. Uh, Princess Leia was putting together a team of rebels to go down. And, of course, uh, it was Princess Leia, there was Han Solo, Chewie, and Luke Skywalker joined them as, joined them as well at the end there. But So that's the release that we got with the Power of the Jedi line. Of course, they gave her a slightly different blaster than the one that came with the Millennium Minted coin. They gave her that original blaster that came with the new Hope Leia. 
um, a new paint job on this figure, and you'll notice that she's got a new head sculpt, so they used a head sculpt uh, without the helmet on, so it's technically a different different figure, even though she does have that outfit from General Leia. So if you wanted to display her as the Endor Leia and have her helmet off and put the poncho on, you could do that with this figure because it's basically the exact same sculpt as the Millennium Minted Coin one, except for an updated paint job and a removable helmet. So you can see what she looks like close up there, head-wise. Uh, and, you know, she's got her watch painted on, but instead of black, it's painted silver this time. And she does have the yellow stripe coming down her pant leg there. Uh, standard articulation, of course, on this figure, like before, at the head, at the arms, okay, at the waist, and of course the legs up and down, and you can see the foot peg underneath as well, and that's what she looks like from the front. Okay, we'll turn her around to the side, over to the side here, you can see what she looks like from the side, and of course on the back, and you can see they've painted that holster belt all the way across as well, and they've given her brown boots this time instead of the black ones that came on the Millennium Minted Coin, and it's basically exactly the same figure. If I put them side by side, even though she looks different because she doesn't have the poncho on, it's exactly the same figure, but again, with no helmet on. So you could technically take this vest off, put it on this figure, and you can display the scene where she's talking to Wicket when she first meets him. So that's the Princess Leia we got in the Power of the Jedi line. Let's put her back over there. And then we wouldn't get another Princess Leia in, in uh, the Endor outfit until seven years later. This time as part of the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection, we'd get a brand new version of her released um, with super articulation, premium figures, and uh, a cloth outfit this time, a cloth poncho, and a removable helmet. And that's this figure over here. I unfortunately don't have her loose. I kept her on card because I like the card back. Uh, that's you can see the special offer they had here where you can send in Proofs of purchase to get six exclusive vintage figure coins. And she's on that original card back, just like the original one that we looked at before. And if I bring it up closer, you can see that she has the removable helmet. She does have a holster running across here. And of course, cloth goods poncho. But again, the poncho, just like the Endor Luke from the time, it's in much darker color than what we see in the movie, the brighter one with a nice green pattern. But stay tuned, maybe we see an update to that going forward. Uh, she does have the gun in her hand as well, her blaster. So you can see the blaster, maybe a little bit better from this camera angle. No, nope. I guess from that camera angle is as good as it's going to get. So it's a more realistic version as well. And underneath there, you can see that she does have articulation as well. And then, of course, the logo of Saga Collection on the front there. Now let's turn it around to the back just so you can see what that looks like as well. So a little bio on Star Wars and then the original release figure up here as well as the one that just came out, and then other figures that were released in the line at the time. The Snowtrooper, Bosk, Luke, Bespin, IG-88, and Han Solo. So those were the figures that were available at the same time as release as Princess Leia. So that's what we get in 07. An update, a nice one, to the Princess Leia that we had from 1998. So we fast forward one year to 2008. Legacy Collection comic pack. So they were doing comic packs with all this expanded universe Dark Horse comics uh, stories. And Princess Leia got an update to that Endor one we just looked at. And that's this one over here. I like showing these ones as well because even though it is basically the same figure, there has been some changes to it. And of course, if you haven't never seen these packs, you're probably looking and saying, what, a white Darth Vader? What's that? That's the coolest thing I ever saw in my life. Yes, it's actually a very cool figure. Uh, so in this Expanded Universe story, they were able to save Darth Vader, Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker, and they turned him good, and that's why he's wearing, before he died, he, they kept him alive, and he changed his outfit to a white one. So it's a nice updated Darth Vader there in a completely different paint scheme than what you'd see, and if he had that on Hoth, they wouldn't have even seen him coming. So uh, that's the Darth Vader in the set, and the Princess Leia is almost exactly the same one that we saw in the Vintage Original Trilogy Collection. Except this time on her head, if I can bring it closer, you can see she's got a communicator. She's got a communicating device. So you can basically put her in the Falcon, in the gunner station. She'd fit right in there. So she does have that uh, on her head as a molded on accessory. Uh, it's exactly the same figure, uh, except that they painted her, her hands black. So she's got gloves on this time. And then, of course, you know, her pant leggings 
they're not that light blue they're more of a gray and she's got the black boots on there as well and she comes with an enormously ginormous gun so that's from the expanded universe story so nonetheless another worthy addition to princess leia to talk about here the infinity's return of the jedi storyline so we'll just turn that over to the back just to show you what that looks like as well and then you can see a closer up picture of her with the communicator on sculpted on her face and the big gun that she comes with and then Darth Vader in his white armor and then here's a few other figures that it came with as well that you can pick up so that was an 08 legacy collection when they had all these comic packs so there was a lot of stuff you could buy from Star Wars at the time to get a lot of different versions of characters so we wouldn't see another one no end or Leia till many years later this time in 2015 um Disney ends up purchasing Star Wars from George Lucas because George Lucas retired and wanted Star Wars to go on. And he sold it to them. And then Vintage Collection line kind of disappeared after 2012, 2013. And they started releasing new figures once the Rebels animated series came out. So that was the first thing that Disney released under their own brand was the Rebels cartoon. And they made some single release figures. I don't have one to show you here personally, but I'll throw a picture up. Uh, they made a new Endor Leia in five points of articulation on the Rebels Saga Legends line. So like a lot of the figures that they released at the time, they kind of went backwards in sculpting, but they were trying to appeal to a new audience and maybe just kind of fill the void till the sequel trilogy movies came out. And uh, she did get released there, so it's a prominent version to talk about that did get released. And then we wouldn't see another Princess Leia and Endor outfit until 2021. So we finally got one announced this year in 2021. And it lives up to expectations. It was a Walmart exclusive. That's probably the only grief that I have, just that it was difficult to find for a lot of people because the distribution for exclusives for when it comes to action figures at Walmart is not very good. But I managed to get one. And that's this figure on card here. You can see it's pays homage to that original one so a great card back it's got the 50th anniversary lucasfilm logo over here up at the top and there's princess leia and she got a brand new figure um a brand new poncho in the right colors now that match the movie there's a much lighter green a brand new holster on there and you can see her helmet in there in the packaging and it's separated from the figure just like the vintage one was and it's such a great likeness of her and a definitive version of Princess Leia on her Endor outfit. So if we turn that around to the back, then we can see the timeline here from the 50th anniversary. And of course, the other three figures that were available as Walmart exclusives at the same time, Paplu and the ATST driver. And she's VC number 191 for anybody keeping track. So that's what she looks like on card. Let's take a closer look at the figure up close. So that's Princess Leia on her Endor outfit our most definitive version to date. And she's got a more realistic sculpted blaster you can see in her hand there. And she's got the holster for it here. So you can put that blaster away if you're going to have her riding the speeder bike or doing any more adventures for you. And of course, the helmet does come off, so we can pull the helmet off and we can see that she's got a great likeness, perfect likeness to Carrie Fisher there. The head's on a ball, so you can move that around as well. Uh, that's what she looks like from the side as well. And then, of course, the blaster. Now, as far as articulation here, legs go up. There's no ball at the hips. She is a small figure, so it'd probably be more uh, to the better that she doesn't have a ball at the hips because she'd probably fall over very easily because she's very uh, thin on the leg side. So you can bend her at the knees. Okay, and of course, she does have movement there at the ankle as well so you can move the ankles back so that was some, one of those things that was omitted for example from the hoth version of leia there was no ankle movement um you can take this outfit off i'm not going to do that in this review but you can take it off and you basically have general leia underneath there so she serves as two figures and that's what she looks like from the side okay you can see that the pant leg was, was the stripe was painted on there as well and then that's what she looks like from the back Okay, and underneath she does have her foot pegs as well. And we can also move, you know, her ankles side to side as well. Okay, since we were looking at the general version of her from the Power of the Jedi line, I decided to take the poncho off and just show you what she looks like underneath to see that you have two different action figures there because the helmet is removable. So she's got 
two different scenes that she can play for you. And she's fully sculpted underneath, just like the one that from the Power of the Jedi was without the poncho on. And you can see the articulation there at the elbows. You can see it a little bit closer at the shoulders, at the elbows. Okay. Nothing at the wrists because she is very, very thin on plastic at that point there. At the waist, you can turn her side to side. Okay. And here you can see closer of how she bends at the knee and how she bends at the waist. Okay, so that's what she looks like from the front in her general outfit, from the side, and then of course from the back. So that's the definitive Princess Leia and indoor outfit from our vintage collection that we got. Our prayers were answered when it comes to that. And it wouldn't be right if we didn't show you the Black Series version as well. So in 2020, for all the Black Series fans, Endor Leia was announced as part of a um, cancelled San Diego Comic-Con set that never came out because of the pandemic. So it was released as a pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. It was called the Heroes of Endor set and it came with a brand new Princess Leia in Endor, a brand new Luke in Endor, Han Solo in Endor, and Paplu on speeder bike. And that's this Princess Leia over here. She would get a single release as well a short while later. So just in case anybody wasn't able to pick that up, but there's a definitive Black Series version. It's probably the one that gave us the nice looking three, three quarter inch one that we just got this year. So you can see Princess Leia with her helmet on. It is a removable helmet with her nice, you know, cloth poncho blaster. She's got her belt here with a holster. She does have full articulation. We'll look at that in a second. Um, you can see the stripe painted down her leg, black boots. Definitive version of Princess Leia, and then under here she's got her foot pegs. Okay, to the side here you can see she's got her watch on, and then that's what she looks like from the back. With the poncho as well. Okay, so I have that version of her. We're going to show you what she looks like without the poncho on as well. So here she is with the poncho and the helmet removed. And again, you have a general Leia over here now. I left her holster on here so you can see that as well. The gun's in the holster there. Uh, full articulation on this figure, ball on the head, okay? Um, swivel at the shoulders, at the elbows as well, and of course at the wrist, you can turn that side to side. And she has that for both sides. Uh, at the legs here, she's got a ball at the hip, so you can bring her legs out, have her sitting on the speeder bike if need be. You can bend her at the knees, and of course at the ankle as well. Standard stuff for the Black Series line. So that's what she looks like from the front. And that's what she looks like from the side. And then, of course, from the from the back as well. So that's the most recent version of Princess Leia that we have in Endor. Um, again, I look forward to making these reviews. I hope that you guys enjoy watching them. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.